A Minute with Alan, this episode is the reunion. Uh, a couple of days ago from when I am recording this, my wife and I, who are high school sweethearts, had our first date, the first day I had my driver's license. Uh, and I'm married uh, for 56 years uh, in a couple of months. We went to our high school reunion down in Paramus, New Jersey. We went to Emerson High School in Union City, New Jersey, but the reunion was in Paramus for people's convenience. And uh, these are bittersweet things, you know. So 31 of our original, about 200, class was there, along with other people, partners and, and some hangers-on and so forth. Uh, and so I guess there were about 50-some-odd people there, but 31 of us from the, from the graduating class. And, you know, we had a great time. Uh, and when we've done this in the past, like at the 55th reunion, the 50th reunion, uh, some people unfortunately passed away a couple of weeks before they had accepted the invitation, had even been. And so my hope here was, I know this is more than humor, but I was hoping that the number of people who arrived would be the same number of people who departed and everybody made it through. Well, everybody did. And, you know, we had a trivia contest about our class, which our table won. My wife was table captain. And uh, we sang the alma mater and we drank and we had a really decent meal, all things considered. Uh, and it was four hours and, and it was interesting. Everybody there was between 77 and 79. This was the class of 64. The average life expectancy in the United States is 78 for men and 80 for women. Now, once you get there, I'm happy to report, you get another nine years or so. You know, then you're going to go to be 86 or 87, whatever it is. But here we are. And uh, it was good seeing everybody again. And things never change, you know. The woman who so kindly put this together and hosted the event for our class tried to make a speech at the beginning. Nobody listened. Nobody would shut up. In other words, it evoked real old times. <laughs> Some things never change.